Hello and welcome again. Uh, last time uh, we looked at um, uh, the settings and how to set up our business on the Dansoft post system. Uh, this time we're going to actually uh, insert in new products into our system. Uh, so without any, without wasting any time, let's log in. I'll go to login, then I'll put Mr. Boss, and then my password was one, two, three, four, five, six, and then login. I get a welcome screen, I'm welcomed, and then our logo we updated last time is there. So this time, uh, let's look for the products. So uh, from the product list, Mm, we have the list of the products, but uh, we don't have any products. So, no data available. So, we can add new products. We can uh, print labels. Now, printing labels, these are the labels that you would want to stick on those products. Eh? Uh, let's say other uh, boxes. Um, for our pharmacy, it may not be so applicable, but um, for different businesses, you can uh, stick, you can print and stick those labels on those products. The product variations, uh, they look at um, a single product that has different variations. Let's say if it's a bug, it could be a bug, one bug, but uh, in different color colors or sizes. So that's where we set our variations from. Or we could uh, just choose to import these products in case we have an Excel sheet uh, that's prepared. We just download the template and then we just import all the products. So we can import the opening stock and then uh, the selling groups. Uh, now the selling groups are uh, uh, these. Look at. Uh, um, I'll explain la that later. But uh, they mainly look at uh, the categories of the people that you sell to. You could um, you could have wholesalers. You could have retailers. You could have. Um, uh, you could basically just you can just set up uh, your own selling groups. Eh? So it doesn't um, it doesn't have to be uh, a single price that you sell to all your customers. That those customers, uh, you could um, uh, you could categorize them using the minimum order quantity. You could say uh, this selling group is for the people who are buying one one. This is for people who are buying three or more. This is for people who buy above ten. So you set uh, those prices for each uh, selling groups. Uh, the units, these look at uh, the different units that we shall be using. Let me delete these things so that we start from uh, zero. These pieces come by default, uh, and then the categories. These look at the different categories that uh, your products are going to be uh, um, grouped. Uh, the brands, these would uh, could look at uh, the different brands of your products. Um, the way I could have um, maybe uh, Apple as my major brand if I'm looking at uh, maybe uh, a gadgets business and then uh, that brand could have several products like uh, the iPhone, the iPad, the iPod, the AirPods, the ETC so they could fall under one brand. The warranties, uh, you could set the warranties uh, for your business uh, maybe you just set a warranty uh, statement the name of the warranty maybe three months warranty for the product you give a description for it and then you set that period of uh, three maybe months maybe or it goes for years you could set it up yeah so so this is all we're going to be looking at so since we don't have any products we could just go to add product or we could I easily you know if we are here at our product list we can just go and add from here or we could just go to add a product uh, but uh, before setting up a product we need to set up those things that uh, are going to be important for our product like uh, the units we haven't yet set uh, the categories uh, the brand I don't know much about the medicine brand since we're looking at the pharmacy so I may not uh, uh, look at the brands this is where we set our alert quantity um, uh, how many uh, when uh, let's say we've uh, we've brought in 100 pieces after how many should they be should the system warn you of the lost stock 
yeah so let's let's first look at the first things so we shall look at the units uh, let's leave this page uh, for the units we only have uh, pieces which comes by default in the system so we shall go ahead and add a new unit and since we're looking at uh, our business which is um, which is uh, a pharmacy uh, which I, I will look at uh, tablets as my first and um, smallest unit and I'll be calling them maybe tabs as my short and then tabs I think do we give half tabs I don't know but for this case I'll say no we only give tabs uh, this option is for um, uh, multiple units now we're going to see how important it is uh, so let us let's first save our first unit so we shall go ahead and add a new unit and this time um, so after the smallest if is a tab uh, we could have maybe a strip yeah so a strip i'll call it a strip just and a strip i think can be half yeah can be whole sometimes uh, you could say you're going to take uh, at least uh, three tabs and then you cut that that um, that strip so this we can cut and since this is um, a strip contains tablets so it's a multiple unit so we shall say each strip uh, each of our strip we sh uh, shall be having uh, 10 tablets and then we shall select tablets as our base product uh, as our base unit so uh, each strip has 10 tablets so we shall save that so that's that's the use of the the multiple units and we are going to be applying it more uh, in our kind of business because sometimes we import or we order for boxes and yet we sell in smaller pieces um, like uh, the tablets and the strips so then um, what else could we look at uh, from the tablet we go to a strip a strip comes in a box a box that could be about three four five strips i don't know so we shall look at a box i'm looking at the uh, these small boxes so i'll call this box mm, a box can i i don't think it can has it can have le less but uh let's just leave it for the case you know i'm not i'm not so much of uh, uh, a medicine person uh, so our box can contain about um, should we say five strips uh, so since since we are looking at the base so if um, if a strip contains 10 and then five strips in a box that means that uh, we have 50 tablets in a box so we shall save this and then uh, what's the thing we could look at for this example i could look okay at a carton uh let's say we have uh cartons how do i abbreviate this carton yeah mm, and now and then a carton one carton could have uh, let me see let's say a uh, hundred tablets maybe yeah so it depends on what uh, your best sell is since my pharmacy right now i'm looking at the retail so i mainly sell uh, in tablets that's why i'm selecting tablets as my base huh? yeah so basically these are the categories that you're going to be using so no i mean the units we're going to be using so we can look at the categories uh the categories what could we set for uh the pharmacy let me see how could you categorize the tablets mm, okay 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 let me see let me see we could have some painkillers some could be antibiotics others could be uh, maybe some vitamins yeah yeah we can do that so i'll call uh, my first category pain do they separate it painkillers category code i'll leave it blank to auto generate 
uh, description. Nah, I will not give it a description. That's our first, first category. And then I'll go to our second one. We say it will be anti. anti uh, by you. Yeah? No, anti. Let's call it bacterials. <laughs> Yes, and the bacterias. I don't know whether the spelling is the spelling is correct. So we can also uh, have subcategories like we did for the other ones, but uh, we shall not for this. We shall just have antibiotics, and then we shall have maybe also the vitamins. Um, yeah, so those those should work for. So we have set the categories and then the units. Uh, I think we can now be able to, do we have variations? Oh no, uh, for, 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 for a pharmacy, the variations? Uh, I'm not sure, maybe uh, let's have a variation maybe of size. Um, what values could we have for size? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, let's let's say maybe uh, 200 grams. Do they even call the mil? I think the mil grams. Then we add another one of uh, maybe 250 mil grams. Maybe we could have. Uh, and then 300 milligrams. Oh, uh, well, I'm using this as just an example. I don't know the exact things, but um, what I want us to get is the uh, flow of the system. So we can have those variations. We can add a different variation. Maybe we can call it um, mm, what variation could be there. Um, Let's say that those things uh, that are not medicine, we could look at maybe what, 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 what? Uh, we could look at maybe the color. Yeah. Um, so it could be, we could look at uh, red. And then that could be maybe white. I don't know what could take those things, but uh, I'm just creating for the sake. Uh, we could have black and many other colors we could wish maybe purple or save just those but you can add the list can go longer and longer so we've set the variations we've set our units and we've set our categories the brands i don't know any brands when it comes to the medicine so i'll skip that but you can put it if you want you can uh, have a whole list of brands that you would want you could um you could <laughs> say apple you could say samsung i don't know how this would apply to uh, a medicine business but um for the sake of understanding uh the system i'll just use those yeah so now we can go ahead and add a new product uh let our first product be um, okay, I'm just going to come up with names because I don't actually know medicine so well and what it does. So whichever name I come up with is what I'll go with. So I'll go with um, Pana Do Extra. Okay, as our first product, I'll select the units which is sold in tablets. And then the brand we can select between these, but I will not because they don't apply. And the category, I think this is a painkiller. Uh, there's no subcategory. So for the shop, it has uh, we have our awesome shop. Uh, if you have uh, if you had a different location, you could add it too. So there is. Let me get the warning at uh, maybe uh, when five are left. Uh, if uh, there is no stock management, then you just disable this. That way you don't have to exactly have the counts of what's left. 
um you could add the description but you we don't need it now these are the custom fields that i talked about before from the other end in case you needed them maybe the extra things that you would want uh for your uh for that specific product and that not enabled if it's not for sale then you can just mark it's not for sale so it would not be listed uh for the cashier to sell uh so is tax applicable um any applicable tax remember we didn't set any taxes so uh, the selling price should it include or exclude uh, the taxes i think it's exclusive now from this part in case uh, the product you're selling is a single product now panado is only panado you get unless if it has uh, those variations of the types uh like um i could go and create a variation of um of panado maybe okay let me let me let me just close this and then add uh, uh, a variation of type mm, type no i'm not going to do it i don't know medicine well so uh, let's just go ahead and uh, we'll go with, with with what we had it was the panado extra and then uh, we're looking at the tablets no brand and then it was a painkiller there's no subcategory what would be one that five um like five when uh, the quantity reaches five get a lot when the product stock reaches or goes below the specified quantity so that's what the, that's what this is for uh like the stock level you would want to get a notification at uh no weight required no yeah i am in required product is for sale uh so the type this is if it's a single product like for this case you just go with a single product put in the price and the the cost and the price uh but if it's a variation then it will pull up the, the variations that we set eh? like uh, the size then it will tell us which size is available for this product um, but for our case let's look at the single product so the single product we shall look at um our uh, the cost maybe each tab costs us um maybe 100 shillings um and then you remember the other part in the settings where we talked about the default um uh profit that we get off each product and we said it's 25 percent by suggestible you can choose and say i'll be getting 100 percent margin of each product so if i bought each tab 100 shillings i'll be selling it 200 shillings so i'll go ahead and save or i can just go ahead and set in how much is there but for this case i will not do that because i would also want us to look at uh, the time when we are purchasing so let's just enter the products and uh, we shall not add any opening stock so i'll click uh, save and add another product so that i just directly go to a new product um so uh, that one is saved i'll go to the next one i'll call it queenin i hope i even spell it right uh so i'm looking at the tabs and uh, the category uh, i don't know let me just call it an antibiotic uh one me at five and um, the prices uh let me let me say queenin is a variable product so it has um it varies in sizes so i would say uh the 200 milligrams i buy it uh 200 shillings this one i buy it uh maybe 250 shillings per milligram and then um, this one i buy it 300 shillings so uh these are my selling prices but i could say this one i sell it 500 so it automatically change our margin uh this one i sell it uh, maybe uh 650 and then the last one i sell it 1000 yeah so these are uh, these are cost prices and these are our selling prices i'll go to the next product um oh i clicked wrong so these are products that entered and uh they're having 
now you you realize this product has its uh, cost um, price that's the purchase price which is 100 and selling price 200 but this one has a range it's because it has a variation inside and also a range of the selling but uh, the quantities we have are zero because we've not yet made any purchases um this is a single product and this is a variable product that's why it has a range and then the categories this is a painkiller and this is an antibiotic so i'll go ahead and add a few more products so what else will i add i'll add the uh, the black charcoal uh, and then i we sell in terms and then uh, the category black charcoal uh, i don't know okay i don't i don't see what i could put it but let me just put it under vitamins just for the case uh, these parts we don't need so i'll say this is a single product and we buy each uh, maybe uh, 150 shillings and then we sell it um, uh, 200 i'll go to the next product uh, what should i add i'll add um, my favorite that's the NASA tab so oh, it also sold in um, in um, in our tabs uh, those cutting these units you can set whatever you want uh, and uh, I'll put this under um, uh, NASA tab I'll, put, I'll just put it there because that's what I have I'm not saying that you should I can set uh, the warning when I want if I don't want I can't skip it and then I'll just say uh, the NASA tab I buy it uh 400 shillings a tab and i sell it 600 per tab so i get a margin of 50 percent off so what else um uh, i think i'll look at um the last one should be like uh, the metro uh, metro and then i sell in tablets uh, I have a category, I'll call it, uh, <laughs> I put it away, let me just put it here. So quantity, one million the five. Um, exclusive, what, what, ah, this, I'll still go, okay. Let me, let me just utilize the, the oh, now the combo, the combo means um, a product that goes with another product. Now this is more applicable with, um, the restaurants where maybe somebody could order a burger and then extra cheese so i would have to go through the products that we have and then uh, let's say uh, jaco and then on top of this product i can add another product so that's what the combo means and uh, that um, this product goes together with this product it doesn't go alone so uh, that's where you can use the combo um, but for this case we're not using it we are using uh, yeah i'm sure so we are using the variation i want us to use the, the variation that we didn't use which was the color uh, so for the color i'll say we have i'll leave the sq number to be automatically generated uh it says when you keep it blank it will be automatically generated so i'll say we, we purchased the the red at uh, 400 and the white at uh, 300 maybe we don't have the black and the and the other one so uh, i'll say we sell this one 500 and then this one uh 700 so that we have a, a better margin so i'll save this that will be my last okay it will not allow me to enter this but i can't see i don't have those uh, let me see if it allows me if I say I don't have I don't have those yes okay so basically these are our products and we have them ready um, so um, when we go to this product now you have filters you can easily just filter between you can say I only want to look at products that are single single product or I want to uh, look at uh, the variable ones, then it will list them. And then let's say maybe I want to see all, but I want to look at only antibiotics. 
then do this for you only the antibiotics uh, in case you want painkillers only still it will select for you painkillers i want to see all uh, business locations you only have one business location so you cannot see you can only see those so if you had a store you can say i want to see only the things that are in the store all the ones that are at the shop or if you have different branches you can just uh, select the location where you want the, to see those products uh, well uh, the units you can look at uh, which one different units that you set up remember we set up all all of them are having uh, our base as the tablets that's why only looking at the tablets here we can only see the other things when we are selling or purchasing yeah but uh, within our system they're all calculated uh, calculated as tablets because we set it that way you can say i want to see only the products that are not for sale but remember all our products are for sale we didn't set any as not for sale so uh from this part we can uh uh have the labels if you want to uh to have labels for your product let's say um this is the black charcoal um but generally if maybe it's a, a phone or a different product i can say i can just search and i can actually add more i could say oh, you also gave me the cleaning and add it to my list um so i can be able to print them um number label label number of labels maybe let me say i want 10 of these 10 of these 10 of these and uh, 10 of these uh, product name here you can set the sizes you want you can select uh, the type of paper that you would want to print the labels on and then you can preview the labels uh, let me change my printer because it's here you can be able to let me first close the printer thingy so these are the labels uh, this for black charcoal you count up to 10 then you go to the quinine you count up to 10 but remember we've selected so many so yeah so you can print this and then just go ahead and you can print them and then go ahead and stick them to your products that's what um, uh, the 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 print label means so uh, let's get back to our products and then see a little more features we can look at um sorry for my slow spins and um, what else could we look at we've seen the label we can view the product in detail uh we can see that this is the black charcoal then have all the details uh when does it expire did we set up the expiry uh no let me okay let, let's good thing is the next thing uh, so where do we set up the expiry date um okay uh, it should be maybe uh when we are purchasing you get because now this we are entering the item like this is the template we don't have any quantity so when we purchase the quantities just fill up into this so we shall see where we shall be able to set those from so i'll go back to my product list yeah you can leave this page sure and then um, look at the other features that we have on the product list you can be able to delete but this you can set the permissions maybe for other people you as the admin you can delete but uh, not everyone should be able to delete you can add opening stock but we're not going to do it from here we are going to actually make a purchase in the next video you can duplicate a product or you can uh, look at uh, its uh, history like um, but this product doesn't have any history because it has just been entered you can look at all the other products that you have in your system to see the histories 
but uh, unfortunately uh, we don't have any histories because we've just entered them so current stock is zero uh, total sold zero adjustment zero return zero transfer out zero total purchases everything is at zero and then we remember since we've selected a product that has a variation we get our variation so that we look at how uh, good or bad our product is doing in terms of sales in our business yeah so i think uh, that's everything to do with uh, uh, entering and viewing the products so um i guess uh, maybe the other thing we could look at you could be able to download the excel sheet of uh, the list of the products you have so that would be it would be organized in this way and also have um you could um well from this part you can have you could have a list of everything in your business you could have maybe thousands and thousands of products you'd want to look at and then you can easily just export it uh yeah as easy as that okay um i think um that's so that's all we can uh, look at for now when it comes to the product we've looked at uh, the filters uh, you can look at the stock report for each product now every product all these products are in red because the warning uh, they are at zero so if we went to the dashboard and then scroll down we scroll down to the other part uh, okay uh, it's not there because we haven't made any purchases anyways uh, bye for now see you in the next uh, video